Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Polina from Elemental Face Yoga. In this video, I show you how to do a collagen boosting massage for eyes and forehead. We target all the signs of aging, such as crow's feet, lines and wrinkles under the eyes, under eye puffiness, under eye bags, droopy eyelids, and general loss of tone in the eye and the forehead area. Our eyes and forehead are very closely connected in the way that any weakness in your eye area will immediately accumulate as tension in the forehead. So for that reason, we work both on the eyes and the forehead together so we can smooth the skin, tone the underlying muscle and relax tension for the best anti-aging effect. For this video, we'll be needing some face oil. Just make sure you have one handy and close by. And if you're ready, let's get started together. Starting with a couple of deep breaths in just to center ourselves and bring our attention to our faces. Closing the eyes. Deep breath in through the nose. On exhalation, relaxing any tension from the shoulders, the neck, the facial muscles. Once more, deep breath in and out. We'll open the eyes and we'll start the first exercise, actually strengthening exercise for the under eye area. We take two finger pads, index and middle finger on the outer corners of the eyes. We're just going to press them in just very gently. And then from here, looking straight ahead, start pulling up the lower eyelid as if you're coming into a squint. So imagining that you're looking at a bright sunlight in the distance, drawing up the eyes to just see what's out there on the horizons. And we're feeling here that lower part of the eyes really engaging, contracting, holding it, breathing, and then slowly closing the eyes and relaxing that area back down to neutral. Opening the eyes, we'll do this move two more times. Let's start drawing up the lower eyelids as we're breathing through. Good, holding the contraction, the furthest point of your range. Here as you come up into the squint, you hold this, breathing. Then closing the eyes and slowly releasing. So we're aiming here to come up in five or six counts to our maximum range. Let's do that one more time. Hold it for about five counts and then release it for about five counts, closing the eyes completely so our eyes can rebalance. Take a deep breath in as you take your hands down and exhale. Wonderful. Let's now work on the upper eyelids. We'll take two index fingers, make little hooks with those and hook them under the eyebrows, doing a little lift here. Hold this position. Now close the eyes and bring the upper eyelids down as if you're closing the curtains. So draw them down, hold this, and then gently open the eyes, keeping the index fingers in place. Again, draw the upper eyelids down, hold that contraction. You'll feel the upper eyelids maybe shaking even a little bit, working very hard. Then from here, opening the eyes. One more time, we're gonna bring everything down. So closing the eyes, index fingers are our resistance, stopping us from completely closing the eyes. And then from here, opening the eyes and relaxing. So now we're ready to go ahead and actually use our facial oil. I'm going to use this oil here on our face for the face massage part of the class. So let's apply a few drops of oil into our palm. Just make sure that you have enough, but not so much as to swim in oil. We want to just provide a little bit of slip and glide. I like patting the oil on the skin. We're going to apply some on our neck, both sides of the neck, under the chin, on our cheeks. So make sure when you're applying the oil on the cheeks, you have some also on your cheekbones, not right under the eye. This is going to be enough. Just place some on the cheekbones and of course on the temples and the forehead because we're working today focusing, especially on the forehead and the eyes. But we'll also need the oil on the other parts of the face for all of these techniques to work together and work properly. Once you've applied the oil, we're going to start with lymphatic drainage. We take our hands into the center of the face. So if you look to see 
how I've done it here. My thumb is under the chin and then my hand I'm gonna now glide, both hands are gonna glide out really gently across the skin, across the face, all the way to the outside and down through the neck to the collarbones. Again, we're gonna apply the hands, we're gonna glide them out very gently and all the way down. So lymphatic drainage is part of the facial massage and I like doing it at the beginning of the class and also at the end of any face massage class because it really helps us to work with the whole system here much more efficiently. And the lymphatic system is very um, uh, gentle and it's right under the skin. So if we press too hard, we're gonna bypass it. So we're working really, really gently here almost barely touching the skin one more time good and glide your finger pads down let's go on to the neck we're going to start with upward circles on the neck so nice and firm touch here and you can take the other hand on your collarbones just to support deep breaths here exaggerating the upward stroke inhaling and exhaling so feeling the muscles warming up under your skin so we're stimulating all these drainage channels in the neck it's also good for us to do a little bit of lifting for all the other parts of the face so when we finish with our class let's switch to the other side when we finish with our class we're going to look much more toned in the whole of the face with a specific focus on the eyes and the forehead a few upward strokes here on the other side of the neck as you're breathing in and out deeply. Wonderful, last one. Get finishing up with the neck strokes and going on to the sweeps across the face. So the same position we had at the beginning, this time we're going to be really firm and we're going to sweep and scoop the muscle and the skin all the way back towards our hair and again we're going to scoop all the way out so just noticing how I'm moving through all of my face excluding the right under the eyes so I'm going only on top of the cheekbones which is where we're going to be working on today to get um, that anti-aging effect for the eye area so going on the cheekbones with the top parts of your fingers can you see here that's it, good. Really scooping everything back. So trying to scoop away from the center, really lift the muscles here. Using all the power in our hands. And also notice how my thumb goes right under the, the line of the jaw to lift through the lower part of the face as well. So it's cheeks, cheekbones, and jawline. Last two times, deep breaths. and exhale wonderful releasing the hands down for the next part we're going to take index and middle fingers place them on your jawline the other hand couple of finger pads can go onto your chin and then from here we're going to start a little whipping motion all the way up on the cheek zigzagging up and down and we're going to come up all the way through the cheek area like that little upward strokes really exaggerating those upward strokes lifting and scooping up whipping across the surface of the cheek coming up to the cheekbone and this is where we're going to pause we're going to just pause here going across the cheekbone all the way up towards the temple the other hand supports at the bridge of the nose so that we're not pulling or dragging these are very short kind of sharp taps to really stimulate the collagen here in the skin to lift and turn the muscles as we're striking the skin and the muscle underneath we are doing that in that kind of upward motion here i don't know if you can feel that you're feeling a lot of warmth flooding into this area as well so just going all the way across that cheekbone make sure that you breathe here as you do that use the strength in the arm but relax your shoulder all the way across and then from here we're going to just take that up onto the temple you can release this hand down taking this up onto the temple and then all the way up all the way up towards the center of the forehead 
So here I'm going to ask you to swap your hands. So just come and stay in the center of the forehead, really just striking all the way up from the bridge of the nose, all the way up towards the hairline. Wonderful. And then switch to the other hand. I'm going to go back towards the temple, but above the eyebrow, really just striking all the way up. This helps us to relax the tension, release tension here in the forehead, but also lift this whole area around the eye, coming up onto the cheekbone. That's it, coming up onto the cheekbone here. And again, a few more whips across the cheekbone. Good, and then slowly relax the arm, give everything a little shake here to release tension in the shoulder. Let's go ahead and do the same on the other side. So we're gonna take our index and middle fingers, support at the chin, and we start at the jawline, moving in a whipping upward motion all the way across the line of the jaw, the cheeks, and then this hand can move with you as you're moving up through the face. Make sure you're breathing. And once you get to the cheekbone, we're gonna pause in there for a little bit longer, just really moving up and down across the cheekbone, moving up and down the cheekbone, supporting your other hand can support at the bridge of the nose. Make sure you're not going right under the eye, the area is very delicate here. So we're going to stay on top of the cheekbone. We're still going to work very effectively for that under eye area here to smooth out and to decrease any puffiness and dark circles. We're gonna come up onto the temple. We're gonna just do a few whipping motions here and then bring that up onto the forehead. Just make sure your forehead is relaxed when you do this. Try not to raise your eyebrow up. Coming all the way up. And then let's go with the other hand into the center now of the forehead. It's stimulating this area between the eyebrows. So this is of course notorious for um, those furrow lines, 11 lines, or worry lines as uh, they're sometimes called. So we are actually just doing a little bit of whipping tension release here on top of those lines and we can come all the way up towards the hairline as well. Now swapping to the other hand to again travel back over the eyebrow in that little whipping scooping motion all the way back to the temple. Wonderful. A few more across the cheekbone. Good, and then finishing up, relaxing your arm down. So now connect to both sides of the face and again, feel into um, the cheeks, the cheekbones, the eyes and the forehead. Again, feeling of warmth, activation, a lift, uh, lots of aliveness in these areas. Have a look also in the mirror to see if your cheekbones have lifted slightly and the area around the eyes have opened and we created more space. Now with your knuckle of your index finger, we're gonna go onto the forehead and release um, tension here with a few more techniques. Gliding from the bridge of your nose all the way up towards the hairline. Deep breaths in and out. Wonderful. So there will be a little bit of pinkiness appearing under your uh, skin, which is all good sign for us. We want to increase this blood circulation to these areas. Wonderful. Now with your index and middle finger, we're going to go onto one side on top of the cheekbone, holding with the other hand for support on the nose, gliding and scooping the skin up. And then from here, catching that glide at the top and holding the muscle. So again, we're gonna scoop back, take that uh, scooped muscle and skin with the other finger pads at the temple. And we're just gonna carry on with this movement a few times. Inhaling and exhaling, scooping on top of the cheekbone. Again, be careful not to go right under the eye. We're just moving across the top of the cheekbone scooping it all up so really we're smoothing here the area under the eye working on 
erasing any lines both under the eyes and also crow's feet that form at the outer corners of the eyes. So taking up any slack here with the supporting hand. Wonderful. And we're going to take that all the way up now over the eyebrow. So I'm going to kind of knead all of this uh, skin and muscle up with the finger pads of both hands coming up into the center and again running all the way up along this side above the eyebrow towards the temple and one more time all the way up so you'll find a nice openness here in your um, eyebrow area as well if you have any droopiness in the upper eyelids this will really help to lift that up Wonderful, finishing up just with a little glide at the temple. Good, and then relaxing your hands down. And again, maybe taking a look to see how this area uh, looks now. So my eye feels uh, much more open, but also looks uh, much smoother here under the eye. So just always do a little comparison. All right, let's go ahead and do the same on the other side. So we support first, so we can gather up the uh, cheekbone all the way up towards the temple and then once we're there we're going to hold that lift with the other hand and now we're going to do this continuously each move we're repeating around 10 times maybe a little bit more it's all about consistency and it's all about repetition breathing in and out that's it, scooping up, moving on top of the cheekbone, gliding your hand down and up. But we're exaggerating that upward scoop here. Gliding your finger pads all the way up towards the temple. Wonderful. And then we're going to take that up onto the forehead again with both hands scooping up one after the other one after the other one after the other coming into the center breathing here let's do that again going all the way back towards the temple all the way back up over the eyebrow coming into the center and again finishing up we're just going all the way across again you can go on top of the eyebrow or just above the eyebrow here and then just scoop that up again through the temple lovely and release with our index fingers we're now going to go ahead from the uh, top of the nose with a little bit of pressure go all the way around the eyes once you come to the temples lessen that pressure travel on top of the cheekbones again as you come into the bridge of the nose increase the pressure to really lift here into those eye circles and once you get onto the cheekbone lessen the pressure again exaggerate the lift and here less of a lift exaggerate all the way around a few times Again, we're aiming for about 10 of these. This helps to relax tension in the eyes and the forehead and also help us to lift that area through the center of the face. Make sure you have enough slip and glide. If you need to reapply the oil, please go ahead and do that. And we have three more of these breathing in and out. Last one. Wonderful and release. With our hands now we're going to sweep across the forehead smoothing out this area and also help now with our lymphatic drainage starting all the way from the top of the face sweeping across the forehead and then just taking that sweep all the way down through the neck to the collarbones Again, sweeping across the forehead and then all the way down through the side of the face, the side of the neck. And again, sweeping all the way across, down, keeping it really gentle, side of the neck. One more time. Good. And then all the way down. Oh, wonderful. And now with your finger pads, tap on the cheekbones, really lightly traveling up towards the temples and then back in back up towards the temples 
a few times just on top of the cheekbones deep breath in and out this will help us to depuff this area to create more definition in the cheekbones and to brighten up the eyes create glow in the eye area and the skin wonderful releasing the hands down and then we're going to take the hands together rub them creating heat between the palms take a deep breath in and then as you exhale place the hands over your face connect to your face connect to your facial muscles inhale deeply through the nose exhale feel all that work that you've done just in the short space of time to brighten your face to release tension in the eyes and the forehead and also to strengthen the areas of the eyes and forehead Good. Relaxing, relaxing the hands down now slowly opening the eyes i recommend doing this massage three times a week in addition to your skincare routine and any other skin fitness regime that you might be doing Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Drop me a comment if you have any questions. And I look forward to seeing you here next time. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.